All right, Recruit, you finally unlocked the SMG 37 Defender. It's time for your training simulator on how to use this gun effectively to take down the automaton menace and spread democracy across the galaxy. And this SMG in tandem with another one of your defensive stratagems is one of the best choices for fighting against the automatons. So pick up your Defender and go spread democracy, Recruits. Now, before we get into the training, be sure to like and subscribe for more Helldivers content like this. I'm Bill building a new audience for this game and I need your help soldiers. So hit that subscribe button. Now the main combo we're showing off in this video is using the Defender SMG with the Ballistic Shield Backpack. Since the Defender is a one-handed weapon, you can basically hold it at the same time as the Ballistic Shield. And you don't need to switch to your secondary gun to get some usage out of it. And since robots shoot guns, the Ballistic Shield is a great defensive option if you know how to use it. Now there are pros and cons when using the Ballistic Shield over the Personal Shield Generator. For one, the Ballistic Shield will never break, whereas the Shield Generator will break after just a few shots from robots. Now one con, for example, is when automatons are sniping your ass with rockets, the Shield Generator can actually stop you from getting cheesed, but if you get sniped with a rocket from behind the Ballistic Shield, you will just die. And also, if a rocket goes off in front of you though, it will absorb some of that damage, but you will get ragdolled. It's not terrible against rockets from the front, but it's really not ideal. Now, what I like about this dynamic is that since there are some pros and cons to each, you can actually choose based on what kind of playstyle you wanna fulfill with your squad. And the Ballistic Shield backpack will be good when you can sneak in, take out a squad of bot troopers, or need to tank a machine gun devastator because your teammates are getting shredded up with their shield generators on. And with how amazing this SMG is, you can actually two tap the devastators if you hit two headshots. So let's talk about this SMG and then I'll give you some tips to using it with the shield more effectively because it's not something you're just gonna toss on and think you can live forever. If you're not positioning carefully, you'll find yourself getting shot from the sides and yelling for your teammates to respawn you. So I like to play this combo a bit stealthy and come out of nowhere, spray down groups of enemies, then run away behind larger cover to reset. So the Defender SMG is strong, but how strong? It does more damage than the Liberator. It's extremely accurate, but unlike the Liberator, it doesn't really have a big zoom in and it's more for mid-range fighting. But you are able to take longer distance fights with it than if you had a Breaker, for example. And that's where you're gonna find yourself against robots a lot of the time, and that's where this gun shines. Now this SMG, SMG has a pretty good magazine size with 45 bullets, which is a more than generous enough amount that you'll be able to kill multiple enemies before reloading. But the real power in this SMG is in its accuracy. If you are good at hitting headshots or weak points in general, you will get rewarded for using this SMG because it is like a laser beam. And it only takes two shots to kill a devastator. It only takes one headshot for the small bots. So if you can hit those headshots, then you'll have even more bullets in the magazine to just keep it going and rack up kills. So my first tip for this gun is to actually tap fire it. You really don't want to spray and pray with this thing. Line up your shots and tap fire it. Try to be more accurate. But luckily, if you find yourself in front of a small bot battalion, then go ahead and let it rip and you should be able to wipe them all out. Now, the next tip I want to give you guys is to actually crouch when using this combo. And it's actually for two really good reasons. The number one reason and the main reason is that the ballistic shield doesn't really protect your legs. You can take stray bullets to the kneecaps. Now, the second reason is that crouching gives you less recoil and makes you a bit more accurate, which once again just rewards the SMG. So it's two pretty good reasons to crouch while using this combo. It's really just a win-win. Now, the second tip is to strafe a little bit while you're crouching. I notice that sometimes when I'm trying to tank a Devastator and line up my two headshots, some of his bullets seem to get through. And either he's Keanu Reeves and we're in a simulation, or there might be a little sliver on my left shoulder hanging out that he can hit for some reason. I'm not sure which one it is, but I just notice that if I crouch and strafe to the right while I'm tap firing those headshots, that's the best way I've found to take them down and take the least damage in return. Now, this will take a bit of practice to get down, and maybe there's a better movement pattern you can do to not get shot at all. But at the end of the day, I find it a win because if I only get hit two or three times to take down a Devastator versus if I had the Shield Generator, 
he would just shred through that and then murder me instantly. Now for this next tip is I really want to stress that rockets are this combo's weakness. If you see any small bots with rockets, shoot them instantly, they will die fast. But any sort of rocket devastator, uh, try to two tap them in the head, but you will see them kind of brace and wind up before they shoot that barrage of rockets. And in that case, duck for cover. You know, worst case scenario, you can just get under larger cover, chuck a couple grenades, maybe even throw an airstrike at him to take him out. But the fact that the rocket devastator or like a rocket hulk is your weakness versus isn't really a big deal because if you had the if you had on the personal shield generator, you know, that's only going to be able to tank one rocket and then the second one would kill you anyway. Now, one other thing you really need to know is how the ballistic shield works. It pr is always protecting you as long as you are holding down your ADS button. So as long as you're aiming down sights. Now, keep in mind, you can hold your aim down sights button and hold this shield up and you can reload, you can pop a stim, you can throw a grenade, and there might even be a couple more things you can do while aiming down your sights. Just don't let go of the aim button while you're reloading, while you're popping a stim, whatever you're doing, just keep that aim button up and it'll keep the ballistic shield in front of you. And if you need to call in a stratagem or you wanna to switch to your railgun to take down bigger targets, take cover behind a nearby rock or a nearby building, and then you can do those other things that, you know, the ballistic shield's not gonna protect you while you're doing. Another thing you really need to know is anytime you get ragdolled, the ballistic shield will go flying out of your hands for some reason. So be sure to run back to wherever you dropped it and pick it up as soon as possible so you can get your mobile cover back up. Now, if you're like me, when I first unlocked this SMG, I loved it. But as soon as I unlocked the breaker, I didn't come back to this SMG for quite some time. Time. Actually, what made me come back to it was I, I've been working on my primary weapon tier list. And when I was using every primary weapon to get my full thoughts on them, I tried out this SMG again. And once I understood this game a bit better and picked this gun back up, I realized it's actually way more powerful than I gave it credit for originally. And that's because originally I was fighting bugs with it. This SMG definitely shines way harder against robots because they're always at that mid range. And if you can get the hang of the playstyle you want to use and movement to dodge or block incoming fire, you will find yourself having a fun time. I usually go prone before engagement so that enemies don't detect me, and then I use my scout armor to map them all out where they all are, and then I can quickly run to each of their locations and take them all out, or even line up enemies to just shoot them all down in one burst. And the key is to do this before any dropships get called in, because this will make your missions a lot easier. And the other benefit of the scout armor, not only that it pings enemies for me, but it's light armor. I get increased movement speed, so it's perfect for the playstyle I'm trying to use. So I highly recommend trying out this combo and maybe even toss on a scout armor and go for the full assassin like I am. I haven't even fully mastered this playstyle yet, but I feel that once I become really good with it, I can play like the assassin I really want to be and be a huge help to my squad once they get back on for some more games. And that's it for this training guide on how to use the SMG most effectively. Keep in mind this is just your basic training like I said, I haven't even fully mastered it yet. This is just the beginning of what you need to know before you go out into the field and take this to the next level. Remember to always duck in and out of cover and assassinate groups of robots pop out again, take out the next group, don't let any dropships get called in. And just your final reminder to also drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel and I will keep making Helldivers content like this for you guys to enjoy. So I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.